it's Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome back for another Trying New Things. This will be Jujubee round two, and centered on Disney and Harry Potter, so here goes. First of all, after the first round, I decided I really liked some of the pieces I got, and I also love Harry Potter, so I went back, and I actually was on Amazon checking out what might be available, and I found a mini BFF, and this is the... Well, it's Harry Potter, but I forget what they called the pattern. It's like the stargazer, whatever the, um, anyways, I forget what it's called. But it has like the special star stuff on there. So this is the mini BFF. There is a larger version that's like the belt size, but I just thought this would be a, such an adorable little like accessory pack inside of a backpack or a big tote or something, um, like a little snack bag or something. It has a front pocket which is actually pretty generously sized. I think a zip ID will fit in there really nicely or a um, RFID card case, you know, the those little thinner wallets. Maybe even like a splits might fit or a minuet. I don't know, it might be just a little too short. We'll do that trial later. But then it has this main pocket and the zipper pulls are the sorting hat, which is just too cute. And these are very lug-like zippers, or like the Vera Performance Twill zippers. They're they're like that. They're very smooth and metallic looking. Right. So inside, you can see that this is like a triangular shape to it. So it has a good amount of space, like in the bottom. It comes with a strap. There's a a little a um, silicone bag. So it comes with a strap that's removable and adjustable, and it does have fittings on it. Inside, it has like a drawbridge opening with nice gussets, so it doesn't just like lay flat. I like that, so things aren't just gonna totally dump out when you open it. But you have a good amount of space, and then one big elastic mesh pocket on the back. It does have like a hooded top, so you can get things that are a little taller up and in there. I think this would be like a great little accessories kit for like your masks and wipes and sanitizers and gloves and like a COVID kit. It could be great for that. Um, but anyway, so this has several different carriage options. It has, let me zip this pocket up first. It has the handle on the top, which you can carry like that. It does also have a slip pocket on the back, which obviously not a carriage option, but <laughs> don't want to miss that feature. And then it has these three loops on the back, which I learned from the other mini bag you can set that up to be like a little backpack. Now, I know for a fact that won't fit me. Just, you know, it just would look too silly, this tiny little thing as a backpack on me, let's be real. I'm just, not because I'm big and large, because that's just teeny tiny, there's no way. But I could totally wear this as a crossbody. So let me just put this strap all the way out and see how it fits. All right, this is a thin nylon, like seat belty kind of nylon. It is a navy color, obviously, so it matches the bag. But this has the three loops on the back and also has two loops on the side. So you can wear it either way. But let's put this on as a crossbody. I could totally do this. Yeah, hello, how cute is that? Just a little, put the top handle and everything, a little dangle jangle with the, ch I love it, okay. And then in case you haven't seen the backpack setup, let's just run through that real quick. So you take the straps and you loop it through that middle piece just one time, hook it on the bottom, and hook the other side on the other side. And this is gonna be all twisted because I didn't really pay attention, but they swivel. So there's your backpack straps. I can certainly put it on. But again, let's be real, that's not a way that I'm ever going to carry this bag, so. There it is, the mini BFF, Harry Potter. Okay, and while I was on Amazon, I also found another Be Ready set, you know, me and my pouches. But, you know, I have all those Harry Potter bags from Vera, and I have a lot of black bags, plain black bags, and I thought, you know, these pouches are great for so many things. So this B set is a Harry Potter, it's pretty simple, it's just a black bag. And these are, of course, I love that they're like waterproof or very water resistant. This one has zipper pulls that are the feet. It says, mischief managed on one side. You can see that right there. And on the other side, it says Jujubee and Harry Potter. 
So they're both like that. These two zippers on the big pouch, of there's three pouches here. The big pouch comes together and it is lockable. It also has loops here to be a crossbody as well. So it's a, it's a multifunctional pouch. I really love this set. So let me pull out all the pieces. Silica pack, we don't need that. Okay, so this pouch, you have the crossbody strap that's removable, adjustable. Uh, no, sorry, not adjustable, just removable. But there you go, crossbody strap. It also comes with a wristlet strap. There you go. So you can do it as a wristlet pouch, a crossbody pouch, or just a pouch. And inside it has, like, you know when he's in the, the school and they're walking around, he's following that map of footprints. It's kind of like that, that theme. And then there's little um, ribbons there. This one says, I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Mischief managed. Yeah, so it's kind of those two and repeating themes and lots of footprints all over. So the inside of that pouch is the outside of the second pouch. So the middle pouch is the interior and it has same on inside and outside. It also has the same, has two loops on the outside so you can use that as a crossbody or a wristlet or just a pouch and it has the little silicone pack inside. So we got that one. Oops, it doesn't want to stand. It's empty. It's not gonna stand. Okay, that's all right. I'm gonna put this pouch back in there, put the straps in there, and then you have the little baby pouch, which is just tall enough for this patch, which is the same patch, it's on the big bag, and it has one loop on the side. So this one can be a wristlet or just strap it onto another bag. And then it has one zipper pull, and inside is the same pattern with the footprints and ribbons. So there you have it. You have the small pouch, the medium pouch, and the large pouch. And there they are side by side by side. You can kind of see them in their height sandwich. So they're all proportionally bigger than the next. And then they just go one inside the other inside the other. And there you have your set. Be ready. Be set. Actually, be ready is another thing. So let me not confuse you. This is just the be set. Juju be, be set. There you go. So Harry Potter, changing gears. Thank you, Nicole, who informed me that she saw the GGB video and she right away she commented, hey, today, on not today, but that day, they were releasing a brand new GGB pattern, which happened to be Disney. And I think it's the first ever Disney pattern. So I had to check it out. And sure enough, I caught it right when it popped up and I got some Disney GGB. The name of the pattern is, I think it's called Amour de Fleur, which is like a-M-O-U-R, so amour, amour, amour de fleur, flowers, it's flowers. The love of flowers, that's how I would translate it, my expert French. <laughs> so I got three pieces, well, three styles. The first thing here I got is the passy pod. No, I don't have kids, no, I don't carry around pacifiers, but I thought this is just such a cute little piece and as a bag charm on a, on a backpack, which I got, or as a coin purse, or, you know, this is just a great size to carry just about anything. You can carry your earbuds, your hand sanitizer, your masks, you can carry some gloves in there, you can carry so many things, or you can use it as a coin purse. It's just perfect. So it has a, a strap that has a hook on one end, so you can like wrap it around something and then hook it on itself, or you can just, you know, bop around with a little cutesy thing. The zipper pull is a Mickey head that has like flowers in it. So it's super cute. It's all golden accents on there. Passy pod, yep. And it has these tags, this big Disney and Jujube tag. And that's what the zipper pull looks like with the flowers in it. So inside of this cute little bag, you have straps. Well, there's a silicone pouch, but you have two elastic straps on this side and two on that side. So if I was using this as, let's say, just like a mini tech pouch, I'd have my charging cords, I'd wrap them up and just tuck them behind and you probably could get two different ones in there. And then your little charger piece right in the middle. I have no idea what that was. <laughs> um, but anyway, Kelly's checking it out. Sorry about that. I don't know, something banged outside. Okay, so Passy Bod. This pattern is so cute though, before I move on, Look at the pattern. So first of all, there's Minnie and Mickey in this teal blue color, and then there's flowers all around them. But if you look closely, 
There's little green Mickey heads also. So look at that little little green Mickey heads, and they're all over. And then I got pattern placement wise, I got a mini right on the front of my Cassie pod. On the other side, I just got flowers. But you can see there, there's a little bit bigger teal Mickey head. So he must have been like top of his head from the little guy. So really, really cute. And I like the flowers. I like the dark patterns with bright, colorful, or dark backgrounds rather. So the next thing I got is the B set, of course, because I'm in love with the B set kits. This one, you can see a little bit better snapshot of the pattern. You can see um, Mickey and Minnie. So you got Minnie there and Minnie there and two different Mickeys, but you can see they're in different poses. So it's not just strictly repetitive pattern. It is of course geometric and repetitive, but it gives you some change it up and, and different looks and different colors in the flowers. You got some teals with the reds and yellows and oranges and greens, more of the little baby Mickey heads hidden in the pattern. It's just a lot of fun. I really, really like it. Okay, and then on the back, again, you can see some of the different character poses. There's three different minis and two Mickeys. So, yeah, I really, really like it. And then on the court, yeah, the front, Disney plus GGB right on there. So this one, same as the Harry Potter one, it comes with loops here. It's got the lockable zippers. These zipper pulls are a Mickey and a Minnie, and it's super cute because when they're together, they actually face each other. So I just think that is so adorable and so well thought out, and they're a nice, easy pull. Okay, so this one has all the same pieces, so let me open all this up. All right, so these ones are the same all throughout. The small, the medium, and the large are the same pattern outside. But one thing I didn't mention on Harry Potter, but the same holds true. On the big one, they have the special zipper pulls, whatever they are. And on the smaller two, they just have these other small zipper pulls in the appropriate hardware color. So just FYI, the, the designed ones are only on the bigger pieces. The smaller ones are just simple. Um, these again, there's your crossbody strap and your wristlet strap. So it's not your typical wristlet strap, by the way. It's the kind that has the two loops on it. So you can loop it around something and hook it on or yeah. Not just a typical so anyway let's put this all back in here oh before I put that back in there the inside <laughs> the inside really didn't get a good look in the passy pod because it's just not a good big enough piece but it is this beautiful sort of a light teal almost a mint green almost but it has these Mickey head flowers so it's all flowers but in the shape of a Mickey head and then little free flowers in between but you can kind of see all the different Mickey heads in there. And some are smaller too. There's like a smaller one. Oh, that's not a Mickey head. It's just a cluster of flowers. Never mind. From that angle, it kind of looked like it for a second. Anyway, so that's the inside. And I just, I just am in love with these Jujube pouches. I, I cannot buy more because I have now three sets of them. I'm just saying. <laughs> Famous last words for me, you know. But, okay. So I think those will go perfectly with my new Zealous backpack. Because you know I'm a backpack girl. I love my backpacks. And who doesn't need a waterproof or water resistant, beautiful, colorful Disney backpack? Eh, we all need that. So this backpack, new style to me. I've never had um, GGB backpack before. It is, you know, their products aren't really designed like for mothers, babies, kids. Uh, yeah, I have none of that, but have a love for Disney, a love for good products, and a love for backpacks, so I had to get it. So it has two big cargo pockets on the side. These I think are very nicely proportioned. I didn't bring any water bottles out to try, but I know for sure that they will fit a regular water bottle, a small umbrella, all the usual things. Um, the zipper pulls on this one are Mickey heads, mostly, but the top two is the Minnie and Mickey. So the main pouch is the Minnie and Mickey that face each other, just like on the B-Set. So front pocket, open, it is just a pocket, regular pocket. The second pocket I've heard people say is the mommy pocket. Well, if this was a baby bag, that totally makes sense to me. Since it's just for me, it's all about me. There's no mommy bag. So this pocket opens really nicely. So you get really good access to the pocket. It has um, some gusset there, so it holds on to itself. 
It's not gusseted above the zipper, but that is fine. It opens, it'll hold everything in. It's not just gonna dump out. But you have a nice key bungee. You have two slip pockets right there. Sorry, I can't see. Two slip pockets. And then you have a privacy pocket here. And that goes all the way to the bottom of the bag, which is very nice. They don't always do that in some bags. So there, and then there's plenty of space because there is a nice, you know, an inch or more, inch, inch and a half of space in that pocket. So it could easily hold, like I'm thinking, runway pouches and transports, that kind of thing, because it's quite a nice size pocket. So there you go. That's that pocket. And they are just regular zippers. None of these ones lock, they're not lockable. Then the main pocket zips all the way down the sides, look at that. But there is a nice gusset, so again, opens up great accessibility, but it's not gonna dump everything out. So that is really nice. Space-wise, there's the bottom of the bag. So it's a good size backpack. I did medium to large, definitely. It's got a nice open compartment here, so you can, fit a lot. Starting with the front of it, let's look. There are two elastic mesh pockets. You get a really good look at that interior pattern there. I like that it's really light so you can see everything inside. And you just really can see the flowers, it's cool. So, other than that, looking the other way, you have two more mesh pockets. You have, well, we'll get back to that in a sec. You have a nice big slip pocket that goes all the way to the bottom. Everything goes to the bottom. And then you have these two elastics, which I'm guessing is where I put like my wet wipes or something. But this is the outer, there's another pocket, and this is basically the interior of that pocket. So if you're putting things in that pocket, it would share space with the interior of the main backpack. So if, for example, you had this crammed with books, you're not gonna be able to fit a bunch of bulky things in that back pocket. But we'll talk more about that when we get to the next pocket. But, but there you go, so you got that space. It's just really nice compartmentalization. And then you do have this included like baby changing mat, which as I've said before, you know, you don't have to have a baby or even children at all to appreciate a good baby bag and all of the accessories that come with it. Because this for real, I mean, think about the things you could use this for. Um, you're, you're out uh, in the park and you wanna sit down and, and have a meal, a picnic or whatever, not, not just at Disney, but anywhere and you just lay this down now you have a little picnic mat and it's waterproof and and everything just built right in it's not padded but it is a clean mat you could use it when you have like my for me my nieces and nephews over or even myself you know doing arts and crafts or doing my nails at the table or things like that so you're not going to mess up your table oh, i could just go on there's so many things and like i said you don't have to have a baby to appreciate it or to need or use all of the pieces but i love that some of the the baby things like even Vera Bradley, they have that completely vinylized, wipeable interior. That's why I have some baby bags. But anyway, yeah, so baby maybe. I just love bags. Okay, yeah, that's it for the inside. Let me put this back in here so I don't lose it. Do -do -do. We'll zip this up. These are very smooth, very slick zippers. So then there's this other pocket and it zips across the top and it's not deep. It has the Mickey head zipper pull and it's, it's fleece lined or soft lined. So maybe that's where you want to put your phone or your sunglasses. I mean, it's just that top pocket. It doesn't drop way down. It's, it's only hand deep. Like it goes to there. Like I said, it's, you saw it on the interior. It's just that top pocket comes down to about here but it's, it's soft lined throughout. So that is really a nifty concept. I think I wouldn't want to put like my keys in there with my phone. So, you know, put my keys somewhere else where it's not going to scratch things up, but I would put my phone and sunglasses in there together potentially. Anyway, we shall see to be determined. And then the back, you have of course a carry handle, which is, I got to find a um, luggage tag that matches this. And then you've got your straps and they are adjustable. They're the double loop, you know, this kind. I haven't seen these in for a really long time, but they're classic old school adjustable, or you can disconnect that strap and hook it onto things and then re-thread it through. So that's another idea. It does not have a trolley sleeve or any mesh for breathability, um, except on the inside of the strap that is mesh. And these are nicely padded. 
and pretty robust. So I think that'll be very comfortable to wear, but on your back, it's going to be very, very sweaty because there's no breathability, no padding, no ventilation. So that um, waterproof fabric against your back is not gonna breathe well. It will probably make your back sweat a lot. And that's okay, I'm gonna sweat anyways. It really doesn't matter. Oh, and if you're looking at that, lovely, sorry. That is another story, but I fell while camping this week. So that's, we'll get back to that on another video. Uh, yeah, disregard the scooch, scratch double. Speaking of kids, right? <laughs> anyway. Okay, so the only other thing is this bag has these two loops on the top, which looks like it's designed for a crossbody option, right? Um, which I think is really cool, actually. And I probably would not most likely carry it that way, but it's nice to have that option. Or if you have a stroller or a wheelchair or some other kind of cart or mobility assist device of whatever kind, you might be able to hang, you know, hang that with the strap this way that disconnect and just hook on that being said it doesn't come with that strap which i think is a little bit odd if you're going to provide that you should provide the strap i do vaguely recall that i saw that strap for sale separately and wondered why that was well i guess now i know but that kind of sucks so i'm not sure i'll buy that strap i might just have these loops which guess what is a perfect built-in place to hang my pod on one side and who knows what on the other. So that's the Zealous backpack in Disney Jujube Amour de Fleur. So that is it for this one. I hope you all are having a wonderful weekend and I hope you had a great week. Sorry I've been a little bit absent. I was out of town all week and I had very bad cell service. So a lot of catching up to do this weekend. If you've commented on any of my videos, I do promise to get back to you as always. And I apologize for the delay. Take care. Bye for now. Washy washy.